Across the world, in different countries, there are institutions with the responsibility to protect your right to privacy. And if there are no national bodies, there are international bodies that can be appealed to. National bodies extend from the general, like your national human rights institutions, who can encourage and in some countries take to court public bodies, like law enforcement or your local government, for their human rights record, to the specific privacy focused, such as your data protection authority that has the responsibility to enforce the data protection legislation in your country and investigate any alleged breaches of it. Regarding communication surveillance, independent complaints mechanisms like the Investigatory Powers Tribunal in the UK or a surveillance commissioner like in South Africa are an important point of access for any citizen to gain accountability in what is often a secretive and opaque environment. Politically, public bodies need to be placed under scrutiny. In Germany, particular surveillance operations must be disclosed to an independent parliamentary committee every six months. In other parts of the world, there are still problems with oversight of these agencies. In India, there's no independent scrutiny because the bodies that intelligence agencies report back to are the same ministries that are involved in setting the policy priorities of those agencies. While in Peru, the Intelligence Committee of the Congress of the Republic, while not completely independent, is able to begin investigations without being directed by the state. It shouldn't be forgotten that in some cases regional bodies like the Council of Europe, the Organization of American States and the African Commission on Human and People's Rights, among others, can also be considered as relevant bodies empowered to safeguard your rights. But there are legitimate concerns about the effectiveness of some of these bodies. Internationally, until recently, there were very few options in terms of who is empowered to report and draw attention to threats to the right to privacy. Special rapporteurs, Individual offices operating from the United Nations have spoken out to protect the right to privacy. Consecutive UN Special Rapporteurs on Freedom of Expression and the Special Rapporteur on the Countering Terrorism have made important interventions and in reports for the right to privacy in previous years. And now we have the Special Rapporteur on the Right to Privacy, who is mandated to examine and report back on country situations. This includes receiving information and reporting on alleged violations of the right to privacy, this Privacy at the United Nations document, which is available as a handout at the end of this lesson, explains what kinds of activities the rapporteur can carry out in their position. Each body, from the domestic to the international, has different merits to be considered in any advocacy and communications plan. The domestic bodies have very real powers to investigate violations and report on them. International bodies and their communications can bring a great deal of attention from around the world that can change government practice just as dramatically. The question for any organisation is which body is the most effective to achieve the ends of any campaign. Having said that, these bodies respond to and are motivated by demonstrable public appetite. Arguably, the most important body to consider when planning advocacy in the support of the right to privacy is the public body.